bro, what are we going to do for 50 minutes? I don't know. Here, let me just... Tim Hortons, Granville Street. <laughs> Slash marker. Tiny Rogues. 3.5 out of 10. Wait, which one is this, though? No, this one's in South Vancouver. That's like... That's too nice of a Tim Hortons. We got to get to a little... We got to get a little spicier. Take me uh, into the downtown peninsula. Tim Hortons downtown. Mm, let's see here. Sure. 1001 Denman Street. That'll work. It's in the West End, but let's give it a chance. Let's go, let's go check out some reviews here. Tim Hortons. Then we're going to sort by one star. Worst Tim Horton staff is so slow. I waited five minutes to have my order taken. Then the manager came out because the staff member entered it wrong. Manager said she doesn't understand. Shouldn't you have staff working that know what they are doing? Okay. Laziest staff I've ever seen in Vancouver. Tim Hortons is a coffee restaurant. Just serve the coffee properly and freshly brewed. Do not mix the old leftover and mix the brewing coffee in between. Inefficient manager and inefficient staff. Waste of time and waste of money. I wish they should lose this location because of lazy staff ruining the brand name and reputation. Okay? Awful attitude and atmosphere from staff. No greeting. Okay, we found one. No greeting. And just glare at me. We'll never be back to this location. Brother, you're at a Tim Hortons in downtown Vancouver. You're going to be back. You've already demonstrated a shocking lack of judgment. I, don't, I, I can't trust the word coming out of your mouth. I think you'll be back next week. Lazy and entitled staff. I ordered yesterday. It doesn't even have... That's the end of the review. I ordered yesterday. Ordered a few things for work staff. Was shorted a bottled water, French vanilla coffee, and medium coffee with French vanilla. When I returned five minutes later, the same staff member denied my order and argued no name on her name tag but a smiley face. Holy cow. Disgusting place. Almost wait 15 minutes to place order because employees were busy talking. Then a girl came named Jasmine and delivered bad customer service. They were not even sorry. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Jasleen! Oh, man. I was the customer here, and I was refused to use the washroom. Both were out of service. The seller explained to me that one is locked and cannot be opened, and the other one is for staff. I asked again to use the staff washroom and was refused. Okay, I mean, that does... That sucks. I, could, I can understand being mad about this one. Fourth edit! Oh, my God! Anyway, sorry, I'm just... They, 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 listen, we got to get a little crazier than that. How about McDonald's? It's on, like... It's probably, like, Abbott. And you know what? We'll just call that McDonald's Chinatown. That's West Pender. Okay, let me take a look at the reviews on this one real quick. 3.1 out of 5. <clears throat> Just give it a second. See, this is insane. Who would give this a one... What kind of one-star review is this? You're ordering takeout from a McDonald's. Get ready for, for the eviscerating review here that gave them a one-star. Hey, everyone. So first off, what are you doing? So I had a takeout from this restaurant along with my friend. It was a total disappointment. I specifically ordered sandwiches with extra sauce, but there was not enough sauce. On another sandwich, there was supposed to be habanero sauce, but they added three different sauces to it that totally ruined the flavor. The fries were not fresh at all, and the iced coffee was not mixed properly. I do not recommend this reference. This is your first time at McDonald's? Sounds like you gave an insane uh, request to McDonald's, and they didn't have it up to your standards. You're ordering from the wrong restaurant. Like, Le Cordon Bleu is, is that a way. Some reviews from this restaurant you can't even, you can't even read. <laughs> this place is disgusting. I ordered a Big Mac and large fries with a medium coffee, cream, three sugars. I got to know why they have to put the full order in the review. Like, somebody from McDonald's is going to see it and give them a coupon. I got a soggy, horrible burger with meat patties so thin you could see through them. They slathered on way too much sauce. It was cold, and after one bite, that was enough. 
My coffee didn't have any sugar at all. I would recommend to everyone thinking of getting from this McDonald's location, do not go there. Again, first time, this is your first time at McDonald's? Pretty sure the patties are, are the same everywhere. Doesn't deserve a single star. The staff don't know how to treat customers. I would suggest McDonald's to change their staff. I mean, this one is, at, there's some truth to this one. Well, no, uh, then I clicked more and they go insane. But they, this one, one star review. <clears throat> Service is average. The store is extremely filthy. If the health inspector came into this McDonald's, they would shut it down. I watched a homeless person bleed all over the counter and no one cleaned it up. That sounds crazy, but I actually believe that that is true. That seems like something that could happen at the McDonald's. Very dirty location. Pop was the only thing salvageable, LOL. Customer service also not good. <laughs> what does everybody keep going into? <laughs> Everyone keeps going into McDonald's expecting good customer service. Why are you so mad? Okay, actually, this is this. Uh, there's a picture here that is disgusting. This was the poutine they served me. And it's literally like, it's just a box of fries with one curd log on top of it. <laughs> it's, show it. Hold on. Can I... Save save image as it saves as a complete web page. Hold on, I can, I can do this. I'm good with computers. Snipping tool. I'm gonna snip this out real quick, and I'm gonna right click save as. I'm gonna call that poutine, and I'm not gonna save it in 2022 tax documents. I'm gonna put that in. Let's say downloads. Okay, it seems like a good place for that to be. And then I'm going to add image poutine. I'm going to browse, I'm going to go to downloads, and there it is right there. I mean, this is like, this is a one-star poutine for sure. This is, this is not acceptable. <laughs> when I said it was one curd log, I hope that this was what you were picturing, because this is like... And then the gravy is just like, look at those fries, man. They're like the, the bow of the Titanic just poking up out of the Atlantic Ocean. Like this is, this is just not right. Best restaurant in the UK. Oh, shut up, but also plus two. That is pretty good. Worst McDonald's ever. Charged me twice and edit. Still got seven pickles in cheeseburger and burnt apple pies. Seriously? Don't go to this McDonald's. Ground is always sticky. Least intelligent people I have ever met work here. Oh my God, dude, that's too much. You, you just criticize the restaurant. You don't have to go into like a personal attack. Egg McMuffin meals came with a medium coffee. That dunce of a woman behind the counter gave us a small. I asked for McChicken sauce. She said they charge for it. That doesn't seem like... Like, the first one is a reasonable mistake. The second one, it seems like she just told you something you didn't want to hear. Next person asks, they got some for free. Racist staff here. Reviewer's name, by the way, is Kevin Connors. But I shouldn't be treated differently. Okay, well, I mean, I don't think the staff are racist, but... <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't there. It's possible, but... Now, this McDonald's, I have nothing good to say about it. They always get my order wrong. I would say four times out of ten they get my order wrong. Already, you've, you've admitted to a lie by necessity within the first two sentences of your review. Not once have I been compensated, nor have they apologized. They always take the bag back with this look of disgust, and now I have to wait all over again, sometimes making me late for work. You gotta stop going to this restaurant. Easily the worst McDonald's I've ever been to in my life. Okay, that might be true. No access to drinking fountain. That, I believe that's true as well. 
The manager at this location is rude and condescending. Even when apologizing, she uses a rude tone. I will never patronize this location again. I know how this is punching down, but me writing a review for a restaurant that serves like a whole breakfast for four Canadian dollars. This establishment will never experience my patronage ad infinitum. Like this is, it's crazy. She is also a liar. She claimed to have checked her camera footage all in the span of 10 seconds, then called me a liar for asking for a refund for food they didn't give me. She didn't check her cameras because then he, she would have seen her employees only giving me part of my order. To top it all off, she hung up on me. This guy's trying to get a refund for his McDonald's food over the phone? I hope she gets the same energy back threefold that she dishes out to loyal customers. I also hope anyone who's been treated this way leaves a similar review. Holy cow. This dude's calling McDonald's to get a refund. I didn't even know you could do that. In overall summary, purely, oh my God, it's the longest review I've ever seen in my life. In overall summary, purely in terms of service, it's worse relative to other locations. I can't compare food quality because you know what you're getting and they are pretty consistent throughout all other locations. So far, so good. I'm writing a negative review because I wanted to share a story. I once walked in and asked for a junior chicken meal. The worker replied, okay, so one junior chicken, would you like fries or drinks with that? I said, yes. That's why I asked for the meal. He then replied, there's no meal in junior chicken. And we went back and forth and how there is such a thing as a junior chicken meal and that I order it quite often, especially at this particular location. The worker began to show frustration and kept telling me there is no such thing as a meal and if I wanted the drinks and fries, I would have to order it separately, which would cost more. It was after five minutes when the person behind me got even more frustrated, went up to the worker and said, dude, are you serious? There's a button on your machine that says junior chicken meal. Then they went back and forth for another few minutes. The worker got so angry, he got his manager. And you know what? There is such a thing as a junior chicken meal. I know I've had some frustrating experiences at low-end restaurants. Hey, low-end? Let's not make any enemies. It's just a place you can go for a reasonably priced fast food meal. Low end. Yeah, in the same way that the low end theory by a tribe called Quest is low end, maybe. Anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. How about this? How about this subway? <laughs> you got any psychotic reviews of this subway? I feel like if I had to pick... Which restaurant has the most insane regular clientele? It would probably be Subway. I'd feel like, and I eat there a lot, but I, I feel like it's a lot of insane people that eat there for sure. Oh, man. Terrible service. I ordered a mobile order for pickup. Went home, realized they made my sub wrong. I need specifics, okay? Okay. If, they, if you, they gave you the wrong type of sandwich or put like a bunch of stuff on it you didn't ask for, that's maybe cause for annoyance. If you like asked for olives and they didn't put any olives on, welcome to DoorDash. That's the DoorDash tax, okay? Sometimes we, the, the convenience of ordering something on like an online app, it's not going to be, it, it might be like 98% what you ordered. Maybe the Dasher ate your olives. Maybe the Dingo ate your baby. I called several times, but the lady didn't pick up the phone. She finally picked up the phone after the sixth try. She's probably making sandwiches. We told her she screwed up the order and to make the sandwich again. She hung up on us. When we walked in, she ignored us. Just plain rude, nasty attitude. It sounds like one good turn deserves another. When she made us the new sub, she demanded the old wrong sub be handed to her after being told we could keep it. It sounds like you, it was so disgusting you didn't even want it, but yet you also want to keep it. She made us upset. Way to go, Subway. Don't go to this Subway. They will screw up your order and say that it's your fault when you have the online receipt. People are crazy, man. 
After I consumed your lumpy soup and sat in your very dirty store, I came home to feel very sick and yucky. Your store was uninviting. It had dirty tables. No one had swept the floors. And the fact that you left my soup sitting on the ledge for 10 minutes was unacceptable while you were in the back chatting away. Worst service ever. Your lumpy soup and sat in your very... Your store, which was very dirty. Have you ever eaten at one of these places? It's so dirty, so dirty. One of the dirtiest stores I've ever been to. And they leave your soup. They take your soup. They leave your soup on the counter for 10 minutes. And they're just in the back just chatting away. Decided to give this location a second try after a disappointing first visit a few weeks ago. Are you stupid, quite frankly? Like, are you dumb? I found your, I found the problem. Hey, I had a horrible experience at this restaurant. Decided to double down three weeks later in a city with thousands of restaurants, including probably like at least dozens of subways. Um, I can fix them. So true. Unfortunately, dealt with the same issues. No way. An inedible sandwich, complete waste of money. Couldn't take more than a bite. Old ingredients. Ranch also tasted like it went bad. Horrible. If you order delivery from this place, they do not care. They don't even take the time to make your sandwich correctly. Waste of money. Go literally anywhere else. Price per person, $20 to $30. Come on. Come on. Don't, you don't have to lie. I requested... This is the funniest thing I've ever read about Subway. I requested a sub with peppers toasted with meat and cheese. The Subway told me he could not do so because his oven was too old and it would break if veggies entered it. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, it's sorry, our, our oven doesn't take vegetables. Three pieces of every veggie on a foot long. Refused to put any more. Total came to $32. Cashier gave me attitude when I handed her a $50 bill saying she has no change. Somehow she found change. Don't go here. I ordered a mighty melt. It came with peppers and onions. I asked for a pinch of spinach. Literally, what are you talking about? After the sandwich maker had just finished explaining to my friend who ordered before me, they could not toast a sub with veggies. <laughs> he takes my mighty melt and pops it into the toaster fully vegged and sauced. I voiced my complaint about now having wilted spinach on my sandwich and my veg are not cold and as fresh as I wanted them to be. His reply that was that the mighty melt is always toasted with the veg. I can't be the only one unhappy. This is, dude, this subway is hilarious. Worst subway in Canada, period. Been there twice in an eight-month period and told I cannot use the bathroom. I assume the staff has superhuman bowels. Very poor service. The, ta the cookies were not fresh and they were super hard. Two angry emojis. Oh, no. Worst service. Better not expecting good service. Worst subway ever. Bad service. Don't eat here. Anyway. You know what's equally crazy, though? I got it. And I know I'm wasting a lot of time here. That's just because I don't know what to do. Um, I want to see the highest. I want to see people leaving five star reviews of this subway. We just moved into the area, and we've been so stressed. Of course, we don't have our kitchen thing set up yet. Here, this is like the recipe, um, online recipes that start with like how you met your husband. This is like you're you're eating a foot long sandwich. It takes nine minutes to do. Set the stage first. It's called show, don't tell. We ended up online ordering from Subway for lunch pickup. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. They gave us a free cookie. It was honestly so nice. I almost became teary-eyed from the kindness. Thank you so much, Subway. That's cute. That's cute. Come here every week. Love the service and the food. You get a free cookie in your takeout order. This place is my go-to to grab a late evening sandwich. The ladies working there are always kind to me. Remember my name and my sandwich every time. More hype for the amazing service and pride their employees take in serving. Great management will go back again. Tell me you own this subway without telling me you own this subway. My God. 
Lady was really nice. I've been to other subways where some employees will laugh or have a smirk on their face with how I order subs, but not here. Employee was very nice and with the way she talked, keep it up. Other subways laugh at me when I order the cookie sandwich, when I get a foot long chocolate chip cookie. They laugh and they giggle to themselves. At this sandwich, the lady was very nice and mercilessly laid into me behind my back when I left. I want the essays. Give me the essays. Epic. Best subway in Canada. Thanks for everything. Response from the owner. We are under new ownership now. Please drop by to experience the better service that you deserve. <laughs> I like that. They got a five-star review. They replied to it two years later and said, come back. We're going to impress you even more. That's crazy. Can you sort by length? Can you sort by, uh, by length of review? No. Nope. How about newest? Don't eat at this location. After I consumed your lumpy soup. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing. 30 minutes of Super Auto Pets? I don't know, man. Can't believe it's already Friday. Could always play some more Tiny Rogues tomorrow. Ah, never, nonetheless, it's all fruitless now. <laughs> How about some Puzz Grid? That was pretty fun. Puzz Grid. I remember Puzz Grid. Let me see if I got like an acceptable screen region here. They didn't, stop telling me to play AI Jukebox Part 3. They didn't make an AI Jukebox Part 3, okay? They only made the first two. The third one's not done yet. Oh, yeah, close this. Open this. I forgot how to play Puzz Grid, but either way. Slash marker, Puzz Grid. Have you heard of this? The puzzles? Have you heard of the puzzles? The puzz grid? We played this like a year and a half ago. I don't really remember what it was all about, but I think we should try it again because one person in chat asked for it, so I'm ready. I'm hip. I'm with it. Okay, here you go. I'm going to get the screen region going.